doing Young Tucci Lil Wayne, we're doing Lil Wayne's debut album, The Block is Hot 1999, we're doing Young Wayne I don't wanna waste no more time, this intro kinda sucks I really don't give a damn because I'm ready to get into this album but I don't know this album, y'all. So I'm really hyped to... I'm playing with my glasses a lot. I know, I know, I know. Why you got glasses on? You think you're sophisticated. Shut up. This is Lil Wayne's debut album. Around this time in his career, he's part of the Hot Boys. The Hot Boys was this group from Cash Money. The Cash Money Hot Boys. Him, Baby, a.k.a. Birdman. Juvenile. You know, Manny Fresh. The Hot Boys. You know, so we really about to dive really into the cash money history early into the cash money history and this is the start of many albums of young wayne oh man it's magnificent it's magnificent it's the intro he's hyping up wayne they all everybody in cash money the big timers bg juvie manny Baby, they're all hyping up Wayne like, yo, this this guy right here, this young boy right here is the one. They're hyping Wayne up right here like he, he he's the guy. He's the kid, but he's the one. So, okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. He said this is the hottest beat of the year award right here. Use a fool, Manny Fresh. Use a fool. <laughs> That was a bop. I'm not gonna lie, man. The, the, the beat was really dated. That definitely sounds like 1999. Jesus. But you know what, though? I was still rocking with it. Y'all saw the shoulders. Y'all saw the shoulder action. Y'all saw me. Y'all saw me. <laughs> Y'all saw me doing my thing right here. Wayne was just going. Wayne was just going on that beat. He was just in the zone, doing his thing, going crazy. It's 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 crazy to hear um, Little Wayne um, in his debut in his prime, uh, before I don't want to say the theatrics. That's the wrong word because I'm not trying to diss him or nothing. But before the mainstream, okay, yeah, before the mainstream. So you hear like you hear what he's really rapping about. This is this is that down south. I done seen it, I done lived it, pen talking. Like, he's just, he's just going off. This probably was the joint when it came out. Oh, man, because this still kind of goes to this day. This is my jet, nigga. Money ain't shit. This is my rock riders drink my way. To New York, who got every bitch attention this motherfucker when he talk now. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I like. When we pull up at the club, so bad, that's how I like. I know what I like. Big time, it's the hand and flow, and Lamborghini sitting on brothers with two more way, my girl wrote this. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That song was hot. That was that was that was kinda catchy. You know, shout out Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh is such an underrated producer. Oh my lord. Manny Fresh made that cash money sound. Manny Fresh don't get enough respect. As a producer, that is. Enough enough first first. Did my man just say his Rottweilers drink Cristal? Coming through in that flat with a two twenty three. What you gonna do? Okay, that's my new favorite. This is my favorite. Sorry to block aside. You just got pushed to the side. Hey, yo, the, Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh, will you calm down with your production, man? Will you calm down? Yo, Manny Fresh is the Dr. Dre of the down south. I don't care what nobody say. Manny Fresh, you get my respect. You getting your flowers today, man. No way. Keisha a freak. Hey, 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 Keisha a freak. Yo, this song right here was naughty. The hot boys just ran up. I'm trying my best to censor myself. I'm not trying to curse as much. The hot boys just did their thing on Keisha. Damn it, Keisha. Hey, first of all, first of all, that that was that was dope. These beats are really impressing me. 
you know, Lil Wayne had a great advantage here. He had an in-house uh, beat maker like like Manny Fresh, you know, so he gets an advantage of writing these beats. These are some majestic sounding beats, man. These are just awesome. Uh, shout out BG. BG's dope. And niggas better move out. Cause here I come with my click with the tools out. All of the I actually really enjoyed that one a lot. Wayne was really spitting on that one. It sounded like he's ready for war. He's gearing up. He said, You got a head on your shoulders. I'll knock it off. Okay, y'all. That was my favorite song. This is now my new favorite song. He's really, he's really talking. Let's get serious for a second. He, he's really talking and he's really like letting out his frustrations onto the song. He's saying he don't really curse but f the world, and that he's tired of uh, uh going through pain. And I'm assuming he, he's talking about Rabbit. So I'm assuming that he had a friend named Rabbit who got gunned down, and you know, he's trying to carry on strong for his mom, but it's really, really hard. And he's wiping tears away, he's upset, and he's 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 really going through it. He's really feeling it. And it's it's affecting him. And it, and and he don't want to hurt no more. You know, so that's why he says F the world. So that he, he got really deep on this and I was really feeling that. I, I was really feeling this song. I don't remember how old Lil Wayne was when he dropped this album. I know he was really young. I think he was a teenager for sure. For him to make this type of music. At a, at a young age, he had to have been a teenager because Wayne is not even that old right now. This is 99? Yeah, Wayne was a teenager. Wayne was a kid when he dropped this. So for Wayne to make this type of music and, and, and still, you know, have such an impact at such a young age shows that he's a real prodigy. <laughs> Yeah, that was hot. That was hot. I really like this song because BG was backing Wayne up in the backgrounds with the vocals while Wayne was spinning his verse and going crazy. And BG's talking about, I, remember, I seen him at a young, I saw, basically he's like, I seen him at a young age. I taught him how to get it, how he live it. Woo! BG on his big brother right there. BG on that big brother vibe right there while Wayne is just doing his little bro killing his wave. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. That was absolutely hard. Are you bugging? Yo, okay, 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 okay. This is my new favorite song. Manny Fresh, what did I tell you? I'm gonna need you to calm down with the Fuego beats. Will you calm down, bro? Got me feeling like I'm on a cruise ship, dancing, doing the salsa, cha-cha, whatever the heck that's called. I'm going crazy in here. That's that's an anthem. So wait a minute. Question: Did "Drop It Like It's Hot" come from the Hot Boys? Did they make that popping? Did they make that catchphrase popping? Drop it like it's hot? Was it them that made it popular? Or did they just like already take from a popular catchphrase and just incorporate it into this song and just like, I feel like they made it hot. Yo, trendsetters. People don't really say that no more, drop it like it's hot, but why not? Drop it like it's hot. Did he just say my whole front grill is full of confusion? Wayne has bars, bruh. Wayne has bars. He has too much quotables. He spit. He, I like how serious he got at that last at that last verse. And then and then by the way, R.I.P. Kobe. 
R.I.P. Kobe. I heard that. Shout out to Kobe. That's hot. If you don't know now, then you never will learn. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. I like how I like how Wayne shows his respect to his to his group members, as as you know, he he knows he's little brother and he notifies everybody he's big brother. I just like that commemorate that 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 uh commemorate commemorate. I can't say the word. Legendary like Bob Marley, 17 walks of a star, feel me? I say one over that be like what curiosity kills. Send chills up my trigger finger, blast the dummy. Oh, nobody was in this life for me. Nobody could oh. understand me. Who made you bring a knife to a gunfight? Now that's not right. Why your bitch ass even showed up tonight? Yo, that, that was a bop right there. That was a serious bop right there. That was... That was very different sounding track. Wayne is spitting. Wayne lets you know that he a bloodhound and and that he ready to get down. Track was hard. BG, BG, I think BG outrapped Wayne. When he said that I don't shoot for fun, well, no, he said, I don't shoot to hit, I shoot to kill. Believe me, I don't shoot for fun when I shoot is for real. What? Bars. Bars. That was a bar. Yep, alone, I'm coming, man. Just wait at the gates, I'm going to be running, man. I don't know how you feel, just be strong. Because everything going to be right now. I know it's hard trying to make me die above the town out, man. Yes, let me be a show me around, all of the jags around me. I really like that song. Everything is gonna be all right. They're talking. He, I think it was Wayne. Wayne spent that first verse talking about his pops and how uh, his pops, you know, um, lost his life, and that now it's up to him. He has to be the man, and that he's using the knowledge that his father, that his father ingrained in him from a from a youngin as a youngin. So. I could resonate with that song a lot, even though my father's still alive. Um, I had to be the man at a younger age real fast, you know, for me personally. So I could resonate with this song a lot and I, how uh, it had to be up to me. So I'm feeling this. I'm feeling Wayne and I'm feeling Turk. Was this Turk or was it BG? Let me, I don't want to get the wrong. Definitely one of my favorites right here. I'm, I'm seriously impressed. Seriously, all jokes aside. Oh, I know that sample. Way to close the album. You want war? The music was playing. I know that sample. That's Michael Jackson. Um, oh, what's the name of the song? Not on the Thriller album. It's on the Bad album. Um... Dun, 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 just another, just another part of me. That was the sample. Just another part of me, Michael Jackson. That's crazy. But that was the conclusion of the album. The block is hot, and now I'm here to give you my final verdict on the block is hot. And I was really just soaking in the music for a first listen. Um, I didn't really have my hot facts like I normally do and you know, I was I was fresh to this and I gotta say I enjoyed myself. I Enjoyed this album. I definitely did. I definitely did. There was not one track that made me go Why is this on this? There was not one track that gave me a negative reaction. Oh, this was a very solid debut I'm going to use a better word than solid. This was a successful debut, in my opinion. Very successful. And I can see why Master P and No Limit was hating on Cash Money and the Hot Boys. They completely took over. Lil Wayne just surprised me lyrically. By the time I got put on the Lil Wayne was when he came out with the Carter One. So anything before the Carter One, I'm not really too familiar with. I know he has an album called, what, 500 Degrees, and uh, the mixtapes and everything. I didn't get put on the little way until the Carter One, and even when the Carter One, I wasn't invested. 
because I was too busy bumping 50 Cent or Jay Z or Dipset uh, or Kanye. I wasn't really like invested in the Wayne. That's when I just knew of Lil Wayne when the Carter One came out. I really got invested with Lil Wayne when the Carter Two came out, like 2006, when he was dropping the Drought series, the Drought Two, and Dedication Two and Three. Like that's when I started really getting invested with Lil Wayne, and then and then him and Birdman was stunting like my daddy. That's when I really got invested with Lil Wayne. I was like, okay, Wayne is one of my. But anything before the Carter One, I'm not, I'm I'm not familiar with. So this is my first time listening to this album. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And and um, Wayne had a lot to say. I'm gonna be honest here. My favorite song is "F the World." Uh, "F the World" is my favorite song, and uh, just because it resonated and I could just hear the hurt in his voice. And my score for this album is an 8 out of 10. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. This is a solid 8 out of 10. It doesn't get a 10 out of 10 for me because there are some, even though the production is great and Wayne is just killing it, certain songs sound a little dated to me and like I said, I enjoyed some songs more than other. I was impressed. I wasn't like blown away like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> This is a really good album. I definitely will listen to this again. Songs on here, will, some songs would definitely be on my personal playlist, for sure, for sure. I think that this was a great start to Lil Wayne's career. 80%, that's amazing, that's great, that's that's great. You know what I'm saying? So, I know I know Lil Wayne has some very popular fans and be like, hey, you know, for the plug inside, you bugging. Relax. I'm really excited to, to, for his next project. I, I'm really excited to to review the next Lil Wayne project now. I really want to see the progression of Lil Wayne from the beginning to where I started noticing him to where I became an avid fan to where he is today. So I'm really excited. Um, Cash Money Records, man. Cash Money, the Hot Boys. These guys really took over at one point in time. I think I figured it out now. I think I got it. This album showed me why they were on top for when they were. Great job, Lil Wayne. Awesome. And that includes this, that concludes this video. Um, so, my chest is now starting to blow up, y'all. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna take some medicine, I'm gonna relax, and I'm gonna go lie down, because your boy is now feeling lightheaded and tired and all that. And this required a lot of energy from your boy. So, I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. I'm gonna end this video now. And uh, I don't have a proper outro, so I'm just gonna end it awkwardly. Bye, y'all.